Welcome to Parent Night at Brooklyn High. Woman in the back, go ahead. Have you considered monthly mixers for single parents? Uh, it's just that sometimes we single parents have different priorities than married ones. I need to meet a good man. <laughs> for Holly and her mom, it's another fresh start in another new city. You knew here, huh? Yeah, how'd you know? Following yet another doomed romance. Uh-oh. I am so glad that you understand. It always starts the same. She starts out hopeful, and then she gets desperate, hooks up with some loser. Great outfit. Where'd you get that? Majorhottie.com? <laughs> She's got to be derailed. But this time, Holly is determined to convince her mom the perfect man is out there. Have you seen these lines? I am in a race against time. Even if she has to invent him herself. The only way that my mom's going to find a good man is if she doesn't pick him. My uncle, he knows about females. What makes today's perfect man perfect? He's got to know what makes her tick. I guess the perfect guy could be anywhere in the world, but he chooses to be with her because life is better with her by his side. I got a letter, a love letter. From who? A secret admirer. Ben, it's a nice name. I mean, it's like he knows me more than I know myself. Yes! When a woman gets an orchid, she feels like she's floating on a cloud of infinite possibility. He gave you a present? This guy is perfect. There must be something wrong with him. But he seems great. Why doesn't he just show his face and say hello? All I know is he is a beautiful idea, but you can't grow old with a beautiful idea. From Universal Pictures, between mothers and daughters. Why are you so desperate? I don't want to wind up alone. Between leaving and staying. It's good for avoiding things. The problem is you end up avoiding yourself. Between falling in love and falling apart. I want a mom that sees in herself what Zoe and I see every day and doesn't need a man to be those things. Are the people who hold us together. You two girls are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Hilary Duff, Heather Locklear, and Chris No. There is such a thing as perfect, and it's out there. The perfect man. I have been hunting for one for years. <laughs>